actually. This is the other thing I can do. Pause it. I really should. I I really gotta get better at doing this. But, eh, what can I say? I'm I'm a terrible Twitch streamer. I'm not professional at all. Uh, and uh, speaking of not professional at all, we'll get it out of the way. Fuck. Okay, there we go. Hi. We're playing The Witcher 3 because I finally found it on um, on the bargain barrel at uh, Walmart. And I've... Fuck it. I liked The Witcher series as a... Uh, uh, as a... Show? I like the I like the Netflix series and I'm fucking excited for the second one. I've seen people play through this and the DLCs already. Uh but you know, oddly enough, I I actually feel like I wanted to play this. So we're playing Witcher the Wild Hunt. I know I've got like eight different series all like sitting on the back burner. I've I basically decided I'm not a Twitch streamer because I know I'm not. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to stream when I feel like it. And oddly enough, I feel like streaming The Witcher. So I'm probably going to do this for about three episodes, just like every other series, and then stop because the commitment is too much. I think that's what stops me. Anyway, is it feels like it's the uh, the commitment of having to set stuff up and then and then actually play it, and then I know I don't give good commentary. Um, I've already seen the opening cinematic because I wasn't expecting there to be one. Uh, before I even got to the start a new game. So that's gone. Unless it replays when you start a new game. Um, I've seen it played. I have never played a Witcher game before. I have never played The Witcher. I never played The Witcher 2. This is my introduction to The Witcher series, air quotes. Uh, so, screw it. Let's just start. Oh, is it going to make me go through it all again? That might be good. Oh, look at I that! All right! Gather before me. Hungry, terrified, clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor I don't know how Elia loud this is going to be, so if it echoes, I apologize. Lands, laid siege to every fortress from yeah, here to the blue down. mountains. Rabid and that's ravenous, good. he bites awesome. and bites away. Men of the north, you stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead, you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. The gods allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the Vilar King for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door, the unholy relics of this conjunction. The trolls, the corpse eaters, the werewolves. Did we raise our swords against them? Or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery. Their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity long extinguished within them. <laughs> yes. Their numbers have dwindled through the years. 
But a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds! Flogged by war! The battles are the gods' whip, chastisement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. The wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. The Dark Raiders abduct our children into lands unknown. Some say they herald a second conjunction. Can we chart a course back into the light? Will we find the strength to banish the mages from our kingdoms? Unite around the warmth of the eternal fire. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Nigh is the time of madness and disdain. Well, that's nice. We got to see that opening cinematic again. Uh, I did. I did um, buy all the stuff because it was a really good deal and a lot of the shit was free anyway. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, what does this say? Select fresh start. First quest of Hearts of Stone will automatically be added to journal once you complete. Prologue of the base game. Oh. Okay. Well, I don't intend on doing any of the DLC stuff or I would... I would like to do all of the base game first and then New Game Plus do the uh, do the DLCs, but that's obviously probably not the best thing to do. Uh, embark on this quest once you've gained enough experience. Might recommend a character level 30. Okay. Uh, pre load a previously saved game. First quest of Hearthstone. As your journal, provided that you previously completed the boat. Previously completed the prologue. Fuck. <laughs> uh, start playing the expansion using a specially prepared character developed to level 32. Possessing predefined array of gear and set abilities. Huh. I'm not going to do that. And then blood and wine... It always does that. But anyway, first quest of the expansion will automatically be added to journal. Once you finish the Poet Under Pressure quest. Okay. Uh, skipping that middle thing because I've never done New Game Plus yet. Uh, begin playing with character level 34 with an appropriate set of gear and abilities. Mm. But yeah. I literally have everything they had available. Because not fucking 90% of it was free, so why the hell not? Um, provided I'm pretty sure it kept all of my stuff. I also thought about being a smartass and going full Polish run fucking uh, subti uh, <laughs> subtitles. <laughs> Just to be... <laughs> Just be good, just to be an asshole, and uh, it, it might be it, that might be a thing. But no, it drive me nuts not knowing what they were saying. Oh, ah, uh, yeah, it 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 would drive me nuts going. Okay, and it did keep my settings. Good. It would drive me nuts not knowing what they're saying, even though I'd have subtitles. So. Okay, I hit back and it backed out for once. Okay. Sorry. Okay, new game. Here we go. Uh, main storyline quests for The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt are disabled. Geralt's gear and level are suitable for the quests of Hearts of Stone expansion. Yeah, no, we're going to do this and then we can go into everything. Uh, story and sword, happy to be challenged. Death March, you are truly insane and loving it. No season demanding gamer. I am, but no. Enjoy a smooth ride through the world. Let's go. Let's go easy. Show tutorials on for now. Simulate Witcher 2 save. 
simulate it? Because I don't actually have one. So if I do simulate, then I get all the dial. Uh, then I would get all the dialogues as if I had played Witcher Two. No, because I feel like that's cheating. Because I've never played a Witcher game before, so I I need this fresh start, I guess. Oh, fuck. Hey, who's that old man? I know, it's Vesemir. Spoilers, it's Vesemir. long to fall over and die, huh? And that's Yennefer, right? From a little pebble. Ooh. just died for no I can't tell if the stream is behind by 30 seconds or not. Okay, it is picking up. I just that's weird. You know I don't find Let's that. See if that's any better. It wasn't meant to amuse. That's a but you to hurry, it's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores you to death with those etchings. Alright, it's picking up.
so. Later then. Hmm. See you later. So quiet. All right. Yeah, mash those polygons together. I am not mature enough to play this fucking Additional content has been installed. You can learn more about it in tutorials. Cool. Uh, welcome to Witcher. This tutorial introduced games core elements. Each message will be saved in glossary where you can find detailed information about the world more. Gameplay mechanics. Disable these. Go to options. Circle is jump. That's gonna get that's gonna take a lot. Any map in the upper right hand corner display shows current locations surrounding the area. Underneath the mini map, you'll find objectives. Use Witcher Sense to find the key to the bedroom. Hold L2 for Witcher Sense. Oh, nope, that is not L2. No, it was L2. Uh. Oh, no, I'm dumb. That's L1. You're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. Okay, that's weird. Amy, I, I just got done playing Destiny for the first time in three months, and I'm already like, I'm using the aim button to fucking sense shit. That's weird. Nothing but silver. Gold clashes with my complexion. You should know that. <laughs> Not extinguishing. There's clothes on the bed. It's really fucking. Got any clothes that aren't black or white? Hmm. Undergarments. There's a key. To unlock locked doors, walk up to them and press X. Wow! That's crazy! <laughs> Fucking Christ. Anything else I can find in this room? Doesn't look it. What about on the balcony? It's so weird that jumping is B. Shit. Mountain pass is beautiful as ever. <laughs> That is really pretty. I need to turn off the motion blur. Uh, display. Post processing. Off. Oh, much better. Oh, that's so much nicer. Alright, I think so. Wow, it's like you've never opened a door before. Also, why would you lock this door? It's 
not like you're going to prevent assassination when you literally got those slots there. It's not like you're blocking out sound when you got those slots there. Old witch is fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. to theory. Hmm? What? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. After taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls, wanted to rest my eyes. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendant. Right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. She wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Mm. Select the dialogue using that and then press X to choose it. No shit! That comes off a bit harsh, I feel like it would, but that also comes off too soft. Ah, we've spoiled her. Gotta admit, we've spoiled her. We've spoiled her. I've been saying it from the start, Siri needs a firm hand. Been saying that true, but you let her walk all over you just like the rest of us do. <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she is to become one of us. I'll see you below. <sighs> what is young Siri? Wrong. Now I see why you were so eager to practice. Strike! Great recovery. You're not in the circus, pirouette. Wrong. Footwork. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? All right. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes, I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. Hmm. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. <laughs> Liar! Eh, apologies, not Sorry's enough. not good enough. You're gonna read Ghouls and Al Ghouls in its entirety. Appendices included. No, please. I'd rather clean the stables. End of discussion. Come on. We'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Of course. Of course. Is a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? Beat you to the bottom. <laughs> oh, Maybe God. Sprint is hold X. Wait, where the hell am I going? I don't know where I'm going. Am I just following her? Yeah, jump being on fucking circles gonna be weird. What did I tell you about breathing? 
I need to fuck. I like, is there an option to lower the sensitivity? Oh, that's fucked up. Okay. Uh, let's go to 80 for now. 80 on... Eh, 90 on this one. Because aiming I need to be faster on. Let's see how bad that is. Steps. Oh, that's much more manageable. Siri, cut it out. I take no fault. I'm not taking damage from it. I'm just gonna drop. Run into trouble. Should I turn back and help you? I win. Oh, okay, we were racing. I also don't didn't use the fucking ladders, so suck it. <laughs> oh no. Desmia's got that look. What did you expect? <sighs> Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Mm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep. Uncle Vesemir. That was some bad mouthing, but whatever. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well... You're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Siri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Start with fundamentals. Should work on the basics. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals, and Ciri's barely a novice. And I definitely am. Oh, with jump being circle and everything. Butchers must be prepared to fight foes of all kinds. They. Uh, be they plate clad knights, ethereal wraiths, or bone crushing giants. To match the strengths, exploit the weaknesses of different enemies. Witchers need to use a variety of weapons and combat techniques. Core tools of the trade are swords, one steel for fighting humans and non humans, the other silver for slaying monsters. Witchers have also mastered a simple form of combat at magic. These signs are not as powerful as spells wielded by mages, but can be cast quickly with simple one-handed gestures, making them useful in the heat of combat. Which is also adept in basic alchemy. They can brew powerful potions, blade oils, and bombs, all of which give them keen advantage when fighting stronger or faster foes. Come on! Uh... Press that to draw steel and to sheath it. Hold that or that. Oh. Press R3 to select or deselect the target. When you have target selected, your attacks will be directed toward it. You don't have to select the target during combat. Doing so can now be focused on one. 
bad idea. Mount a fast attack against Bezimir repressing. A strong attack by pressing triangle. Position Siri. Wait Foot for Vesemir to number. attack. Dodge to one side, indicate a direction, and press that. Roll out of the way of low, choose a direction, and press X. Hold L2 to parry attacks. Nope, wrong one. Pretend now, live Repost! Strike! Just, oh, damn it. Okay. Press L2 just before your opponent strikes to perform a counterattack. Now, young lady, to bring the day to a close, we'll go over a few Press L1 styles. to open the quick menu. Let's start with Quinn. Quinn influences opponents' minds. Select Quinn sign by doing that. Press X to make it active. Cast the active sign, press R2. Oh. Siri, Quinn is sometimes called the Witcher's Shield. Now watch carefully to see why. Quinn sign protects you against damage and certain critical effects. Cast Igni, Geralt. I want to see sparks fly. Okay. Walk close to Vesemir, press R2 to cast your active sign. Any sign deals fire damage and has a chance to apply the burning effect. Walk close to Vesemir, press. Oh, fuck. Hard sign stuns opponents or in some cases knocks them to the ground. Next will be Axie. Time for Axie. Damn it. I hate this feeling. Influences opponents' minds. Walk close to Vesemir and press R. Axie can really Actually, you can mind. temporarily disorient your opponents. Erda now. Show her, Geralt. Next one is Erden. A magic trap. You motherfucker. Walk close to Vesemir and press R2. Stop showing off, Geralt. See this, Siri? Couldn't move. Erden laid a magic trap that slows anyone that enters it. Oh, okay. I never knew what the point of Earden was. I knew it was good against ghosts. A training bomb. Press R1 to throw a bomb at him. Stand in the spot indicated on the map. Hold R1 and aim at one of the highlighted training dummies. Okay. Want to continue training with Vesemir? If you want, you can continue training with Vesemir. Stop training. Simply sheathe your sword. Okay. Enough. Continue training at will. Motherfucker, he is whooping my ass! Nope, not what I wanted. That's it. Ooh. 
Okay. Not what I wanted, but... I feel like I'm doing really shitty. It's really hard to get that parry timing down. Or not the parry, but the... Christ, you motherfucker. It's really hard to like Like, cause I'm blocking and then I immediately click the stupid. Like I'm blocking and then I have that split second of opening and I click the attack the quick attack button and it just stands there. So he attacks me. Whoa, you really showed him kid. Get down here. <laughs> A little she devil. As soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Morhen. Find that helmet. I'm gonna need to fiddle with the button uh, with the button controls, cause damn. Uh, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you. Okay, sure. Wow, that literally gave no time to see any of that. Maria Road to Vizima. May 1274. They still have the same right. months as we do, huh? <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? It'd take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time.
It started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in a tub, and next to me... Trace? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seems so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? Hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm? Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Ciri'd appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. Hmm. We're gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? <laughs> That's private. Very private. Aha. I understand. At least I think I do. Maybe not entirely, but perhaps that's for the best. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Almost the trail's fresh. But it looks like yeah, at least barely done the shit. main road. Wouldn't be one of my streams if it wasn't. There. <laughs> also, I realize I'm streaming at fucking 3 a.m. and I don't expect that to be here, but still. Smell it. Ghouls. Yeah, I did so well in the fucking other, uh, in the damn training session. This is gonna go any better. Life on the continent and in Skelligan Isles are nasty, brutish, and short. War lays waste to the land, and those it spares live in fear. Countless monsters lurking outside every town and village. Monsters are shown are shown with a silver health bar above their heads, indicating that you should fight them with your silver sword. Okay, how do I draw a silver sword? Or is it already drawn? What am I stunned? Okay, so I can attack from. Striking opponents generates adrenaline points. Certain abilities you can acquire allow you to perform special attacks that require and consume adrenaline points. Your adrenaline points slowly decline when you're not engaged in combat. Of course, when armies pass, necrophages follow. Let's go before any more show up. You can regenerate vitality by eating or drinking or by meditating for at least an hour. 
Oh, so you take a short rest. <laughs> I like it. While playing on the blood and broken bones and death march difficulties, meditation does not regenerate. Uh, food and drink can be placed in your consumable slots for quick use during combat. Press up or down to consume an item to regenerate vitality. You have some food equipped in your upper consumable slot. Press up now and eat. Regenerate part of your vitality. Horses. Summoning. You have your horse come to you. Double press L3. So. White myrtle petals. Venom and ghoul's blood. Uh, not what I wanted. Okay, so I can't. Oh, I can kind of see it. Take it. Uh, so that's steel. That's silver. Okay. That's pretty easy to understand. Uh, already eaten some stuff. Uh, and then it said to call the horse. It's. Okay. That's pretty easy. Hey, Roach. <sighs> Witchers spend most of the time on the road in search of this contract. They must trek across wide valleys, climb over high mountain peaks, and trudge through thick bogs. Luckily, Geralt can always call on his horse, Roach, to help him in his travels. Have Roach come to you pr double press that. Uh, you already told me that. Uh, hold Never that while moving to Canter. Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no, because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him, too. His theory collapsed. War is not exactly going our way. I'm not going to We have a side. I want to hear Northern the realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. It's what keeps us going. <coughs> it's just gonna automatically follow the road. Yes, good. Cool, that's nice. Going. Help me! Help! That's a whole ass griffin already. strong enough to carry off a whole at what well, okay not a whole ass but like three quarters of a fucking horse has it gone yeah come out gods that was close i was sure i'd end up like my mare Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it, alive, piece by piece. Oh. <laughs> you'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. You could use a few crowns. You always use a few crowns. Thing is, 
I have a meager purse at the moment. Nilf Guardians requisitioned my goods. Now this. Here. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone. What's it to you? Well, you see, there's an inn here in White Orchard. Sol one around, gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Not a bad idea, especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye, nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. Oh wait, wrong one. New entry added to bestiary. Literally my favorite car and part of most of these games. Why is it so huge? What the f I don't know what's happening. This is not what I wanted. No. Uh, I don't know what I did. Oh god. Uh, entries in BC provide additional information about monsters, including tips, strategies for how best to fight them. I half eagle, half tomcat, just like the one in Lord's Crest, except it's this one was carrying me dead cow instead of a scepter. Griffin attack witnesses, unknown griffins were once only found in high mountains where they would hunt marmots and wild goats. When humans encroach on their lands, however, griffins soon discover a new source, much more plentiful, easier caught prey, cows, sheep, and shepherds. Though they're still wary of main roads and towns where folk with the means to hire a witcher are like to dwell, these half-eagle, half-wildcat creatures have gone from rarities to often-countered pests known throughout the northern realms. Especially hated are the subspecies known as royal and arch griffins. But I don't want to close the bestiary. I want to see L3 hold description size. I don't know what that's doing. Whatever. I want to see the descriptions. Oh, there we go. Grape shot, hybrid oil, ard. Ghouls creep and crawl at night, eating everything in sight. In a snap, they'd eat you too, chop you up for ghoulish stew. Children's rhyme. Ghouls and the graviers are hard to describe. In in part, they resemble humans, yet on the whole, they are the utter negation of all that is human. Though they have arms and legs like men, they walk on all fours like dogs or badgers. Though they have eerily familiar faces, one searches them in vain for any sign of sentiment, reason, or even a spark of consciousness. They are driven by one thing, and one thing only, an insatiable craving for human flesh. Necrophage oil. Okay. Uh, go to the tavern in White Orchard. On a road, hold X without steering to automatically follow its path. Your horse won't lose stamina while this option is automatically ready to follow the road. Right? Well, so much for automatically following the road. Take it easy. Take it. No, we're supposed to go that way. That way. That way. Normally, I'd take this opportunity to start exploring, but I literally don't know jack shit. 
Oh, here's the road. I'm stupid. Hello. You have horns on your head. Move it. Hey, don't piss off the guards. Populated errors. Nearing a village. Don't disturb the peace. Remember, town guards and hired watchmen won't tolerate theft. And won't look kindly on you accosting others. Local residents often erect notice boards near settlements such as villages and cities. These are marked with the map on your map. <laughs> Examine them and learn about contracts, work, which are local happenings. Oi, 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 oi. But you're trying to kill a woman. And then Vesemir goes and crashes into him. Don't you look at me. Oh, fuck off. Little twat. Please don't kill the geese. Please, please don't kill the fucking geese. The stupid goose is getting in the way anyway. All right, goose has a death wish. Sorry, head back on. <sighs> what? Take that down before there's trouble. That is a coat of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. What? Witches? Drink with Weaver Loss freaks. Then I guess you're not drinking. Beg your pardon Dickhead. for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm -hmm. Already had the pleasure. One mean beast. Mean? Light way for a hunter to put it. Claude Lena so bad, poor thing's one foot in the grave. But there's no good to wallow in misfortune. How can I be a service? With a drop of vodka for me. And you? Something to wet your tongue. Uh, options marked with that open a shop panel. What you got? Show me what you got behind the counter. Buy and sell items using the shop panel. No! Press X to make a purchase. Press that to close the shop panel. Quest items. Item cannot be sold. Oh, that's mine. Got it. Wolven Hour. Lowers the required level of all items by two? Interesting. Tawny Owl. 20 out of 100 toxicity. 30 second effect. 5% stamina regen in combat. Oh boy, I've got me a torch. Venom extract, ghoul's blood, white myrtle petals. And then, ooh, you can buy Gwent stuff. But I don't intend on doing it because it looked fucking ridiculous to me. 
Mahakaman spirit. Dwarven spirit. Does anything of this have actually actual use? It's just alchemy. Oh, here we go. Homemade pepper vodka. As a vodka enthusiast, that sounds very interesting. Walter. Cow's milk. Apple. Egg. Chicken leg. Chicken. Cheese. Dumpling. Bread. Baked potato. <laughs> that figures it. Does, it gives more fucking vitality regen. <laughs> Baked apple. Grapes. Plume. Potato. I'll take a big potato. Actually, how, mu how much money do I have? I have 168. And you're charging me 58 for a fucking potato. That's been cooked. You out your bloody mind. A dumplings five. I'm going to save my money. Thank you, though. Thank you, no. Ralph is good. <laughs> uh, pretty busy place. Pretty busy place you got. Nation's on the move. Some search for kin, others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest and warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. Contract on the contract Griffin? Contract on that Griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection or go to the Lord for help. Now the Alderman don't use the privy without asking the Black One's permission first. And as soon as they hanged the Lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. What is that horse do Did y'all see that out the window? What the fuck was that horse doing? <laughs> I'm so glad I'm recording this. I'm so glad I'm recording this. You got, did y'all see that fucking horse? <sighs> All right, looking for a woman. Looking for a woman. Raven-haired, violet eyes, messes in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. <laughs> and, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. <laughs> I I'd remember. Yeah, especially... Look at the horse! Ladies. Plenty of travellers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Dialogue ending conversations. Dialogue options marked with that will end the conversation. Thanks. For everything. you bandage that up please I'm not decrepit yet then I'll ask about Yennefer mm-hmm just remember we'd rather not draw any attention too late okay here. black one's been out measuring the fields let him measure better that than burning the harvest oh, Rommel Rommel you're dumber than a headless cockerel why are they marking out them lines eh pass them out their patrimony Give it to the road. See if I can see that horse fucking wigging out again. Oh, he fixed himself. I think I think that was that same white one. Yeah. Yeah, that white one was losing its shit like humping the frickin' fence. Uh hello, peasant. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. 
Dialogue axiom. Mar options marked with tri upside down triangle will make use of the axi sign. Sign influences people of mind, causing them to act according to your will. Charm more stubborn individuals who would otherwise resist during a conversation. Invest in the delusion ability in the character panel. Here's where I'm going to talk about stuff now. I really want to invest in magic in this, or in the signs in this one, because I've seen the thing where you can literally do, like, the flamethrower effect with uh, Igni, and then obviously being able to Jedi mind trick more people with the Axie sign. I, I am absolutely going for the delusion ability. If I do this, is it gonna end it? Just want to talk. You deaf stray. No one here will talk to you. If it's company you seek, stick that mangy snout of yours in a trough with the pigs. <laughs> Show that shit eater, Micah. Yeah, that's what I figured. Great woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast, she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh-huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. <laughs> we already talked to the barmaid. Okay, good. It's not going to do full sprint. Not going upstairs. We already talked to the barmaid. Hello, kitty. There are four factions. Four oh, factions look at that little teams. kitty. Suits, similar to clubs and spades, except each suit has its own I know him. He's famous. I'm so not dealing cards. with him yet. Wouldn't you rather play war? Hello. What a waste of time. The earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. <laughs> oh, this is where you get introduced to Gwen. Fuck. Why not? Aldert Gitt, assistant professor in contemporary history at Oxenfurt Academy. This Geralt is Gwen, Frivia, isn't it? Witcher, with tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not. Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can hmm. vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No facts interest to me, not fairy tales. Why are you here? Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Write about the war, what it's really like. Go back to your books while you still can. You're gonna Take get killed advice. otherwise. Go back to your books while you can. War's no game. No faculty meetings to attend. No tenure to gain. End notes to compile. First soldier you see will kill you. Why would you do that? Me? A neutral civilian? A scholar? Boots. Come again? He'll kill you for your boots. War made it to Novigrad? War Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Mm -hmm. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Fair enough. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. 
You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwen? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. I'll give it a try because it's thing, but fuck, I've I've seen it played and I don't get it. Hmm. Why not? Splendid. Here's how it's done. You want to begin the Gwent tutorial? Yes. Gwent is an ancient dwarven card game that simulates the clash of two armies in battle. The players are the generals, the cards are their forces. I will go first. Choose a card to redraw. Begin, uh, you draw 10 cards. This will be your hand for the rest of the match. You will not draw any more cards, so choose wisely. Uh, unit card strength. This is a unit card. Number in the upper left corner indicates its strength. One. Uh, when placed on the battlefield, its value, this value is added to the total strength of the player who placed it. This is the unit's combat row icon. This icon indicates the row on the battlefield where the card can be played close, ranged, or siege. So it is a sieger. Card special ability. Some cards have special abilities. This Kudwini Siege Expert's ability is called Morale Boost, which grants plus one strength to all units in the same row. Okay. Weather cards. Weathers are a type of special card. They reduce the strength of all cards of a given type on the battlefield, including your own. Uh, Snow afflicts close. I think that's wind effects ranged and rain effects siege. At the start of each game, you can select two cards to discard and redraw, but let's skip that for now and go straight to play. Here's your battlefield. This is your side. This is your opponent's. During each turn, a player may place one card on the battlefield or pass. Each deck has a leader. The leader grants you a special ability which can be used only once during a battle. Trigger a special ability and then point with X. Or X. Square. Fuck. I'm an idiot. Uh, press X to select... <coughs> press X to select a card from your hand. Press X again to place it on the battlefield. Uh, Sabrina Glesevig. Daughter of Kudwini Wilderness. Four, and she's a ranger. Sheldon Skaggs. Also a ranger. So from what I understood, the goal is to have the highest amount of points. Or high, highest amount of power on the field. So, go with that. The number on the left by your icon shows the current total strength of your units. That's what I figured. Number on the right shows the total strength for that row. Both values are updated when a card is played. At the end of a round, a player with the highest total strength wins. Okay, that's what I thought. During your current turn, you can pass by holding triangle. Once you pass, you cannot play any more cards during that round. Your opponent can continue playing cards until he or she passes as well. You should pass when you are confident you can win with the units you have in play or let the opponent win. Or to let your opponent win and save your cards for the next round. Round ends once both players have passed. The players then compare total strength of their units to determine the winner. All cards on the battlefield are discarded, and both players' total strength is reset to zero. So he plays Zirkanian Fire Squirt. I 
I don't see a reason not to play. More cards. The impenetrable fog, so he is now reduced the power of my level six guy. So I don't want to place any more rangers. Still winning. affects the siege equipment. Snow affects the melee, correct? Correct. So I'd lose five, or... Access the cards in close combat to one for both. So I would lose four... He would also lose four. So ultimately, I'd still be in the lead. And then the only thing that either of us could play is siege stuff. But I don't know what he has in the back. So I'd rather play that. Hopefully he doesn't have another seizure. Okay, I still see why it's smarter to play more. And this goes until we both pass. Because I mean, if I just play my entire hand, I get one, two, three, four more points. And he has to play, he basically has to play siege equipment in order to beat me at this point. So I'll play that and then I think I'll pass afterwards if he doesn't play another siege. Or I can, you know what? I'd rather just slap all my shit on the board and then, and then pass. Because either way, I'm gonna, and that way, I'm gonna constantly. Okay, well, he passed, so I win. Player loses a round, loses a life gem. Game's over when you both lost both. Woohoo, I won, and I got to keep two of my stronger guys. Woohoo. Northern Realms faction ability triggered. I didn't see what that did. Oh, I see the point to doing this. What does this do? Pick an impenetrable fog card from your deck and play it instantly. And fog affects... Rangers, which I do not want to play. Okay, so I see why I shouldn't have done all what I did. Because uh, now I've got a fog card. So I have to be able to win with nine somehow. He's got three. Because rain affects rain siege. If I eliminate his back row, both of our back rows right now, I feel like that's a good play. Okay, so he's only got a total of five right now. I have to 
play this and then pass. He's gonna win this time. If he's got another non. Like, and hell, all, he could even play his fucking fog card if he has one. He wins this. Yeah. Oh well. So now I only have two cards left, right? Which means I immediately lose. Nilfgaard wins the tie. Yep. Yeah, I I don't like that. Like, what's the point of having a huge fucking deck of cards if you never draw anymore? No shame in passing, letting your opponent win around. Sometimes it's better to save your cards for later. Okay. Each deck also features its own heroes. Heroes are high value cards immune to effects of special cards. Powerful cards can turn the tide. Landing cards acquire more powerful cards, but I don't intend on playing this game ever again. Now that I've actually seen it explained, it makes more sense, well, but fucking Christ, I, I don't, I don't like the, analytic. like, you have a deck of fucking 30, or whatever it was, like a deck of, uh, what did I have off the side, 26? I'll remember that, thanks. Yeah, I have a deck of 36 cards, and 26 of them are obsolete. It, it... It just doesn't make sense. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries. Dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? Have you seen her or not? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Why has she got a cut on her arse? mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gaunt to Rodin, at your service. Vagrant? That a profession now? Ah, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. How do you know, How Yen do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballot, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless... He's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. Into Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads too? To your health. Yeah. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? None of your business. Yes. As a vagrant, I deserve no explanation. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An Ilfgaardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night, black and white, gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We I just noticed he has studded together. knuckles. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Uh-huh. 
wrong. Ha, I got it. I believe that's everybody. Make sure there's nothing hidden. And once we start, oh, hello. That's gonna be theft. Store weapons, armor, and junk in your stash for safekeeping and confident they will not be stolen or otherwise disappear. Access your stash in a number of places throughout the world. I'm storing your stash in one location. will be available at other locations. Oh, okay. I assume I have no reason to go up that ladder. Or the ability to. That's just a door. Okay. That's just another door. Oh, fuck you, cat. Yes? What is it, Wolf? You know the path for half a year? Realize it's been half a year since we hunted down that fiend in Varun. Yes. Well, that was more than a fiend. What was that bastard's name? Drugan? May the soil lie light upon him. Things used to be simpler. Monsters were bad, humans good. Now, everything's all confused. Used to be exactly the same. You've just forgotten. Do well, not the point of my age. You're near a century old yourself. So okay, so I guess I am supposed to leave. That's what I want to say. How do I access my gear I haven't leveled fast attack core ability oh this is just core abilities okay muscle memory fast attack damage increases adrenaline point gain 1% Strength training, strong attack damage, arrow deflection. Deflect arrows while parrying. That's a pretty good one. Time slowed by 15% while aiming crop. Need it. Adrenaline point loss upon taking damage lowered by 20%. Interdasting. This is the magic stuff. Far reaching art increases our range by one yard. Stamina regen in combat goes up. Melt armor damage dealt by Igni permanently weakens enemy armor. Effect scales with sign intensity up to maximum of 15%. Sustained glyphs for Yearden. Increases sign duration by five seconds. Number of alternative mode changes. Alternative mode charges seven. Number of standard mode traps one. There's a different mode. Exploding shield. Quinn shield pushes opponents back when it breaks stamina regen in combat. Delusion target does not move backwards. Geralt, uh, target does not move towards Geralt while he is casting Axie. Also increases the effectiveness of Axie and dialogues. Okay. Neato. I suppose I could look at the other stuff, but I don't think I care. Okay, here's what I wanted to see. Here are your currently equipped stuff. Here are the other stuff you have. Here are a tab to show item. Here you find information about your most important character statistics. Hey, toxicity! I know that well. I got called toxic at work recently. Uh, to equip an item, select it, press X. Inventory tab. This tab shows crafting components, alchemy ingredients. Shows items which fit into no other categories. 
Shows food and items for Roach. Shows oils, potions, and bombs. Shows weapons and armor. Toggle between large and small item descriptions by holding that or turning off descriptions by pressing that. You can see how a given item will look on Geralt by pressing square. Using the preview option, you can see how items will look which you cannot yet equip. Choose the order in which the items will be shown. Press R3. See your character stats. Hold R2 or press R2 and go to statistics panel. You have a Witcher potion, but in order to use it, you must first equip it. Navigate usable items using that. Select potion using L. I don't want to use any of them. You can use this potion and press down to activate the potion in the first slot. Wait. Oh, I'm stupid. Press up to activate the potion in the first slot. Press down to activate the potion in the second slot. Okay. I thought pressing that would... Uh, uh, yeah, whatever. I figure we'll get to the garrison... And then I'm going to call it. Because I've, I've been doing this for almost two hours or something. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. <laughs> Three against one, my, you're brave. Better round up someone else to help. Three of you don't stand a chance against me. Well, I could fuck you up by myself. If I had a bag over my head and my hands tied behind. Actually, no, not even then. Chet, Lesh, back off. I'll teach this vagrant a lesson. Man on freak. Oh, is mine. <laughs> The <laughs> fist of the stealth star. You'll never learn. Stupid horse. Nice meeting you. <laughs> Poor horse and Roach is just there. Can I loot him? Please, I, I really wish you'd let me loot them. I know they're just unconscious, but like they deserve to just give me their shit. Oi. Get through the gate, you fucking idiot. Your game state will automatically save when you reach certain milestones in the story. Still, you should save your progress early and often on your own. The world is full of predators, bloodthirsty beasts, bandits, and countless other dangers. Saves created with this version of the game will be incompatible with previous game versions. Okay. Cannot save my game right now. Oh. Is that just indicating north? Or is that actually telling me where I'm supposed to go? That is telling me where I'm supposed to go. Damn, that's a long ways away. 
That's a quest board. Durban now. D E R V A N, not Boydemar. What? What do you mean? I know what they named you at your cutting. What kind of name is that anyway? Durban. Nilfgaard. My gran was from Nazaire. Oh, so that's how it is. <coughs> by my leave, Master Durban. May the gold sun guide you far away from my land. What are you doing? Oh, come on! My pride, Hellraiser. Ah! Girl has learned from experiences to keep a close eye on his surroundings as he travels, for he knows when he'll run into someone or something of interest. Damsel in distress, merchant peddling rare wares, or a nest of pesky monsters. Search such locations are marked on your map with following icons. <coughs> <coughs> Notice board, quest giver, merchant, armor, blacksmith, herbalist, alchemist, place of power, monster nest, armor's table, grindstone. What do you say? Who told you that? Volunteers wanted by order of Captain Peter Sar Gwen leave. Let it be hereby known the enlistment of Imperial Army is now open. Blah. Like, can I just take all of these or no? Take me if I know how to fix it or plow my field without it. Looking to borrow a plow. Enough guardian lessons. Heil Kurzer, Er E. Gloyer. Ard Fainen S. Nar. Don't understand what you just read? No wonder it's a Nilf Guardian. And soon half the world will be speaking this mysterious tongue. But you best start learning it now, and yours truly can help with that. Vicovaro. Oh, Ernest of Vicovaro. I feel like I would miss out if I didn't take all of them. I feel like I need to take all of them. I'm sure it's stupid too, but... I feel like this is the only really worthwhile one. Well, actually, both of these. Fuck it, I'm just gonna take them all. Points of interest. There is much of an interest to be found in the world's dense forests and fog clad swamps. Wherever you peruse a notice board, question markers will appear on your mini map, indicate potentially interesting places. Seek them out. I knew it was a good idea to take them all. Uh, Jetty! Listen carefully. You'll never have to sing that line. Just this kid. Okay. Never. Let's go, Roach. Quest updates. One of your quests is updated. Notification will appear on the left side of the screen. Not currently tracking the updated quest. You can press R3 to start tracking it. Chetty's a little fool. He'll get us all killed. I see you with him again. Ask Oladon about the contract. Oh, come on. Kid, get out of the way. Oh, well, bugger me.
what happened here. Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got it nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. What do you think happened, Dimwit? Some bugger set a light me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! I'm sorry. Sorry. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got That's to racist. Bang dents out of plate, shoe horses. That sort of thing. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. The humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I can, your arsonist I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks. I found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. Cool. What's your sense to look behind the forge for clues about the arsonist? Points of interest. Oh boy, here we go. Old burning on blah 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 blah. Such as your mini map of falling icons. Hidden treasure is some weird thing. A dungan is a mountain with a hole in it. A monster's nest is a monster face. Place of power is a fucking. Oh, what did they call that? The star stone, the guiding stone, whatever it was. The the fucking constellation thing in Skyrim. A uh, person in distress is a fucking Rubik's cube. Spoils of war, smuggler's cache, guarded treasure, abandoned site, bandit camp, and monster den. As we explore the location, its icon on the map will become grayed out. Your items have been enhanced. Using special grindstones to temporarily enhance weapons, doing so grants bonus to the damage dealt. Oh, okay. Anything else? A barrel? Is it theft? It doesn't say it was theft, but I'm not going to take it just in case. So he said to go look behind the hut. Got a lump of bread today. Am I dumb? Ah, there they are. Oh, you can. The prince, a man's, large. All trail using nature sense. Stinks of piss and vodka. No oh, surprise. So new new thing. We're gonna do this, and then we're gonna call it quits. Took off his boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. Hello, hello. Fishing rod, fishing net, orange. Do I get anything for this crap? Looks like he went under this bridge here. Draw it or no? Got notes. 
seek out a something, but Tosley said he'd not give his dog this water. I don't know. Only corpses rotting in it. Something so jumped out of the rushes. Sure, Drowners. But he managed to escape. Lost his boots in the rush. Hey. Well, that's my guess, is that we just keep following this then. Tracks lead back to the village. Bleeding, but not badly. Surface wound. Who you is? Merchant. We meet again. Thank you for oh, saving him. me. People say all kinds of things about witches, but I've always known yours to be an honorable guild. So you managed to salvage some goods? Yes, but I await the repair of my wagon. As time passes, my losses grow. Do you need something? I'll let it go half free. What are you offering? Let me have a look at your stock. Uh, oh, required level four. Giggity god damn. Cannot afford this stuff. I can afford these. Literally just resist everything. Marion Horse Blinders. Can't afford. Uh, horse equipment saddle won't tire as easily. Cannot afford. Cannot afford. Amateur's weapon repair kit. 15% of item durability restored. I could buy that. That'd be pretty good. Gwent cards. That's just hides. Twine a crafting phone. Torn out page griffin decoction. Taking damage raises damage resistance for the remainder of the fight. Yeah, I'll buy that off you. Then I'll buy both of these. Oh, that's not my... I'm looking at the wrong thing. I thought that was my money. I am the dumbness. But, hey, there you go. Now you got some money. Take care. Goose. Move, goose. What did the boat do? Seemed like they could have sewed his head back on. Where are these? The ladies are good to be left. What the fuck is he doing? Well, I was hoping I could knock. Here, but I'll recognize him by his wounds. Drowner 
claw marks. It's gotta be him. Hello, nappy boy. Nasty wound. Run into a drowner. What the fuck do you care? Whoa, our arsonist's a charmer too. Come on, Smith wants to talk to you. I not talk to a non-human. Sons of bitches all, and dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies do anything for gold, they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throats. Am I not right? Listen, we can work this out man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left is yours. Hell no. Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp. Calm down and come on. Calm down. Now follow me. Apologize. Gotta go. Apologize. Come on then. Freak. Oh, fucking rip your head off. This is as slow as I can go. D E R V A N, not Goidemar. What? What do you mean? I know oh, this is going to be such slow going. What kind of name is that anyway? Dervey Sunshine upon you. My gran was from Nazaire. Oh, so that's how it is. Then by my leave, Master Dervey, may the gold sun guide you far away from my. You know what? Honestly, like, is it going to break concentration if he's too far away? No, I can just get here. Okay, good. Up and at him. Hmm. What? what? What's going on? Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Now? You! I knew your mom for years. Charged her nary a copper. This is how you repay me. I've had enough. Hey, soldier. A minute of your time, please. No, Willis, I beg you. I, 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 I was drunk. Didn't know what I was doing. I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. The supplies have been ordered. Not what this is about, mate. This here's the arsonist. A witcher found him. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Just a tree. Harsh as punishment goes. But deserved. You know, I hated the Black Ones at first, like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. But enough about that. Your reward. And I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil still holds, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. You need anything, let me know. Give you a good price. Cool, we did a thing. Can I buy stuff from you now? A return customer. Welcome. What can I do for you this time? Uh, I need to craft something for me. Show me what you got Show first. Me what you got. Show me what you got. So I have a hundred and eighty-nine shirt, light armor, worse. That amateur repair kit, lead, cavalry boots, resistance. Uh. 
So it's all gonna be about the same shit. Ooh! Requires level 8. Actually, how much are you charging for these? 24, 32, 26. I'm not wasting all my money on this, but it's tempting as fuck. Lesser glyph of. Oh! Sign intensities, huh? Wait, what was that? Lesser glyph of, inf glyph of infusion. I don't know what that means. Glyph of Eardin. Glyph of Igni. Those are tempting. Lesser glyph of infusion crafting component. Oh. And then crafting supplies and shit. I'm very tempted to buy all of this. But I know I wouldn't be able to. Igni intensity. For 70, that literally cuts my shit in like a quarter. More than a quarter. Basically half. I'm good at math, everybody. Uh, fuck, I really want to buy this shit, but I know it'll be obsolete almost immediately. So no. How about crafting? I didn't think so. Creating items. On the left side of the screen is a list of crafting diagrams in your possession. You can scroll up and down and press that to select them. On the right side of the screen, a detailed description of the currently selected item. Center screen shows components needed to craft it. Craftsmen need to eat too, so you have to have them craft an item. You have to pay them for their services. You have enough coin, press X to craft the item. You need to find a craftsman with the right specialty armor, blacksmith, etc. for the type of item you wish to craft, and with enough skill to craft the item of its quality. Some items can be dismantled in order to aim new crafting components. Dismantle them, go to a craftsman, use dismantle pail. Okay. Craftsman is a component you're missing. You can buy it immediately. Select that and press triangle. <laughs> Pinning formula and diagrams. If you want to see a list of components ingredients given for a formula or diagram, enter a shop panel, select it, and perform the pin action. I'm losing focus! So I'm gonna regret this later. Whatever. Farewell. So long. Alright. game saved all right good night everybody i'm gonna post to youtube like usual don't expect jack shit because i am terrible with consistency bye bye <laughs>